Hey guys, we're back. We have a 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan here, and today we are doing our unofficial safety recall. So this is for the fuel pump bypass. I was going to say, we all know, we've searched it, we've Googled it, we've done everything. The recall was only for the Durango and the Grand Cherokee. So... That's always fun when, you know, Chrysler tries to screw you over. <clears throat> so I go to the Chrysler dealer. They would not sell me um, the actual recall kit. They're like, we only have five of them and we need 80 whatever. I'm like, whatever, guys. That's just BS. They did sell me this relay kit. So it all comes separate. I'll show you what I did here. So you have to like build it yourself. <laughs> and so that's exactly what I did. We got the relay. We got all our wire. I labeled them so I know where they're going to go to. And I bought a fuse to put on there as well. So let's just get started and walk through this. We know we need to move this guy. So first we're going to pull this battery out so we can kind of just flop this over so we can get to the plugs on the bottom and solder where we need to solder so I don't think I'll need to do anything in here as far as fueling goes um, because everything's on the bottom I just I do need to take this out but I'm gonna do that after I do the battery so let me get the stuff for that we already removed negative first I will say I was a little annoyed when they wouldn't sell me the recall kit. It's really quite annoying. I even tried to play on their good graces. They had a, a calendar up in the background that had the Terraflux Jeep in it. And uh, my dad was with me. I had to pick him up from somewhere. I'm like, hey, dad, there's your Jeep. I even tried to play on that. I'm like, guys, you're just playing a picture of my pop's Jeep. Why, why don't you sell me, uh, sell me the kit? <clears throat> and they're just like, nope, can't do it. I'm like, fine. Let's see, that guy is going to be ah the same thirteen. Well, thirteen worked. Let's just put it that way. Yep, it's the same. That or we'll bolt up there. Let's remove that guy. Jeez. There we go. It was a little tight. I get the right size. Yeah, it'll make it work. All right, so now. Close that up. Yeah, two tabs on either side. So we'll push, pull. Oh, oh, oh! You push and pull. Now I know I can't do all four at once. Push, push. Back up. Pull the front up. There we go. All right. So let's just kind of. Force this over. Not force, um, <clears throat> gentle persuasion. There we go. Now, let's look. At, so, we got some wires on here. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to read for you. I'm going to put everything in the description and I'm going to see if I can find the link to where I got the recall paperwork and put that in the description as well. So, we have a brown wire we have to get under here, which is going to go to relay coil 85. A pink with a light green trace is going to go to relay coil 86. And then we got the dark blue and orange which is going to go to 87, which actually is the load to the fuel pump. And then our red, red fused eyelet. And so, obviously the brown is ground, the pink with the light green trace is going to be our trigger. 
So we got two different connectors here. We're need, going to need to reference. And so since this is for the Jeep and the Durango, the picture is going to be a little off as far as where this is located. But, and like where to disconnect your battery. If you got the Grand Caravan, it's not under the seat. So let's see here. So this is going to go, these are the bottom. This is what we need. We need to get to our 40-way connector, which is this guy right here. And then we're going to need to get to our 50-way connector, which is this guy right here. Well, you can't even see my hands are right here, down here, on the side right there. So we'll get to those. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so in our 50-way connector, which is going to be this bottom one, we're going to need one wire from that, and that's going to be our brown <laughs> So the brown wire that will need to be cut and spliced into the new harness. It's in cavity number 40 of the 50-way connector. So. And what I did when I made my harness, so I know that's going to be a ground. I just wrote, put labels on everything, brown. And then I did 85 because up here, where it goes into, where it goes into here, it's going to pin 85. So, let's get oh, need some picks. That's going to make it a little bit easier. Something like this. Well, the hook might be good. So we got a lever down here that needs to push. That's, come on. There we go. Can you kind of see? We got this lever down here that we need to push in and pull up on. take some doing a little bit so what it is is this guy right here just needs a little pressure on that pull it up looks like Just referring to the paperwork here. What's really nice, I'm looking at everything on our 50-way connector. One thing you'll notice is around here, has like a blue-tinged ring to it. And, um, you know, looking down at our... Oh, let me get you here. Looking down there, you can kind of see the blue-tinged ring. We know we have the correct connector. We are going to pull out. It's a brown wire. I'm going to cut this back. Can you see? Just a little bit. Um, 
just so we have more play with this wire. So we got the brown wire right here. Chrysler put the electrical tape around the end to make the harness a little bit better, I guess. There we go. Now put it back. Coming down. As far back as we can. Because we're going to cut this wire and we're going to solder into it. So I want to have really as much room as I can back here. Right here. We got our brown wire all alone right there. Oh, so looking at the picture. Little. Yep, that's the one we want right there. There we go. Now yeah, we're cooking. All right, so according to this, we cut the wire about an inch from the connector. So it's that right there. Whoop! Nope. No turning back now. And so, since we put some heat shrink over this, so the kit came with some heat shrink. But it's like huge. So I have the same type of, you know, a little glue. It's a glue heat shrink. I'm just going to stick that on there. Let's hit it with a uh, heat gun. Can't think. We'll get that shrink down, then we'll splice in our first wire. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the end. Whoop. There, she's sealed up. So now, what we need to do strip the end there. We have some nicer wire strippers for this, but we kind of run what we brought. Get 
So if you have the recall kit, I should say, oh, I'm losing stuff. If you have the recall kit, it makes it really easy because then the wire you use on your harness is brown. So we're going to get our one that I've already pre-identified. Brown, which goes to 85. We are going to put Right here. Get that on the wire first. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I've done that. We're gonna try to twist our pairs together here. So the recall kit comes with little barrel connectors that are just, I don't know, they tell you to crimp it and then solder it. I don't have those. This new kit didn't come with it. I'm not even, she didn't call it a kit. This new relay didn't come with it. So we're just going to solder and heat shrink. Hands work. <laughs> really. Look at some my glove. Let's get our solder gun going here. Not the best solder job, but let's see. Ooh. We're connected. Looks something like that. Then slide our heat shrink up. And you can see the goo that's kind of oozed out of each end. So we got our brown wire done. We 
All right, so we're gonna look at our, our guy here. Come back out. So I'll look at the brown wire, the cavity number 40, 50 way electric connector, figure six, cut brown wire one inch from the 50 way connector. Install shriek tube, the brown side, da 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 da. Let's see here, it shows you. Install your that and then solder it together. Use the crimp tool. So yeah, it shows the relay laid over here. And like what I said, the their wires are all the same color. Where this is more of a universal connector, that's where we're a little different. So looks like now we need to get the 40-way connector out of the harness. So 40 cavity right there, there's connector, so it's this guy right here. So I'm going to put this connector back because I'm done with it. Um, let's see here. It's kind of going to slide this up here. If I get everything back into its little loom. I guess. Let me see if I can wait for tape. We can just kind of. I don't have any black electrical tape, but I have some red. Nope, nope, nobody was in here. Nope, nobody. <laughs> there we go. Get that. Perfect. So, he is going to go. Place. There we go. Push down, clip, lock. That guy is in. Now, what happens? There, we are connected. Yada yada yada. I got our 50 way connector here. This one's kind of a 50. Did I say 50? I meant 40. So this kind of a big boy, it kind of goes back here a little ways. There we go. out so this one all right here press on that tab let me just show you so it's in there press on that tab right there press and you can pull your harness out okay so we got a couple wires to go for in here We'll look at our service procedure. Wants us to take the black cover off. So we can do that. And then we are looking for this guy right here. It's the big one. The blue with the orange trace. So that's going to be a big wire because it's actually feeding. That's the wire that actually goes back to send power to your fuel pump, I do believe. So to get this off, we have to close 
I think. Yeah, Queen's the connector. Now I'll pick and Close the latch. Perfect. Pop it off and drop it like that. Got it off. Now we're going after that big blue one. So, like, they're holding connected like this. Ooh, with the white trace. It's going to be towards the back here. There it is. All right, where it's supposed to be blue, the orange trace. Right there. Let's pop their tape off. Don't worry, we'll replace it with red. Nobody will ever know we're in here. Okay, we do similar things we did with the brown wire. Blue T orange trace. Perfect. Let's go through here. We're going to clip it. Tell you what, I don't love clipping factory wiring, but I do understand. It's for the greater good. It's going to make the car somewhat reliable again. I say somewhat because it's, you know. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Shrink this down. That's hot. What I find interesting is how they want us to put the heat shrink on here instead of deep pinning it. That's kind of what I found interesting. But oh well, I just thought we'd do it exactly the way the recall that this man was involved in called for. So now on our relay, this is going to be the dark blue with orange trace going to pin number 87 in our relay. Set that guy down there. Oop, 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 oop. We almost forgot a very critical step. We're going to need a bigger PC trick. Heat shrink on. Oh, 
That one being a little bit heavier wire kind of went together easier. Ugh. Now that guy put together. Let's let it cool down a little bit. Much as we can. All you keyboard warriors, feel free to judge my solder job. I really don't care. It does the job and it fixes it. There we go, got that one heat shrunk, because I'll be the first to admit that was not grade A soldering. But, guess what? Maybe it'll do the job. I'm going to put a little electrical tape over that, just because the end seams are a little bit sharp. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get the... Don't want it to poke through anything or rub the wrong way or that's all I'm doing here. There we go. We're using red so nobody knows we were in here. Okay, now comes the fun part. It says we need to find <laughs> Do, do, do. 
So. so now we get to take our green cover off here, the lock cover, and we need to find our pink with a green trace. So, kind of a feeling I know where it's at. It's going to be up here. That's this guy right here. This is our pink with a green trace. Now this is going to be our trigger wire. And what they want us to do is just slice it back a little bit. And then we got our pink with our green trace goes to 86 to trigger our relay on. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to cut it. We're going to strip both sides. We're going to put our heat shrink on and then we're going to put it all together as one. Make sense? Make sense. So we're going to go right here. Woo! We are going to strip it there. There, put our heat shrink on over here. Put the down as well. I want to make it a little bit smaller on that. There, and we're gonna wind this in here, push that in there. Cool. Get it to sit nice and pretty. Those two together, and we're gonna kind of slide in. Perfect. Just like that, ish. Together really ish. There we go. Let's get our heat drink over it. Bigger diameter, not length. There 
There we go. That's on. Now remember, we did take the back cover off, so let's set everything where it needs to go. Reattach that. Actually, first we're gonna remember our. I wasn't here. Tape. I wasn't here. I wasn't here. Nobody was in here. See nobody. Oh no, that wire's just not hanging out there. It was. See. Ah, uh, nobody was in here. There we go. Now you can put our cover back on. Boom, just like that. Now let's reattach this guy. Boom. Okay. Before we put everything away, let's review. Now that it's been 51 minutes, but you're not going to see 51 minutes of it. We got our new harness. We... we put this guy this goes to this bottom connector in here to the brown wire which goes to pin 85 on our relay then we got this wire right here that goes to this connector it goes to our blue with an orange trace wire that we cut same with the brown where we cut that that we cut and it goes here and that goes to our 87 on our relay that goes back to the fuel pump. Then we have our trigger wire right here, this blue one. It goes to the pink with the light green trace. Um, it just gets spliced in. That wire stays connected. It gets spliced in. I couldn't deep pin it, so we cut and soldered and heat shrunk together, so that should be just fine. And then we got our fuse, which I'll show you in just a minute. It's going to connect to the power box there. So we need to find a cute little place to hang this. And I think I know just the place. So it comes with this little zip tie guy. We're going to go like this. We're going to put it in our cute little relay. If I'm smart enough to figure out how it works. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this repair because I can't work a re I can't work a zip tie. Oh heavens! There we go. We're gonna pull it out. It has a little pushy pin. I'll, I'll show you where this. been a day people it's been a day already jeez now we figured it out now we're cooking with fire Zip 
tight in. Extra cut. Stick them right there. Hey. Whoopsie. Right back there. We got our zip tie. He's secure. Now let's, let's kind of route these wires. They're going to be done here with everything else. down here to the side all but the one yes. remember we had the four boom 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 our wires there perfect it's open Down there and this our fused lead one right there maybe there and it's my eyelet's a little snug so we're just gonna so you can stick it down with that guy and go on down we tuck our wires kind of up here out of the way I guess I could probably cut all of those just a titch shorter but we don't know what we're gonna be working with perfect that's off to the side a fuse off to the side there's be anything like hot that it's coming in contact with. Let's put our battery back into place. Maybe put our hold down in. Remember that was a 13 as well. pick this up from my buddy this morning it wouldn't start my wife was with me so like now watch it's not gonna start of course the first crank crank no start then it hesitated and started on the second one so that guy tightened down Positive on. Positives on. Now let's get our negative terminal put on. Negative is on. Let's clean up our mess and then we'll be done. Let's go give it a test fire, see what she does. Should start right up, hopefully. <laughs> I hear the fuel pump turn on.
And with that, guys, we've successfully done this. I am into this project. I was already at the dealer's. I just bought the relay there. It was 75 bucks, And then I spent another $6 or $3 or something on that Fuse harness. Um, we can get this relay cheaper on Amazon. I'll link it in the description along with the mini fuse holder. So if you like what you saw here, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And we'll see y'all next time.